Hey guys, Keon here, and today I'm going to be talking about C-Punk, what is C-Punk, and why a lot of people like it. So let's just jump right into it. Feel like you're drifting away at sea? Do you hear the eeriness of the depths below? Or of the colorful views of the coral reef? What about a stroll through a mall with nothing but plants, left and right, mall music being played over you and the feeling of watering fountains around you? Well, there's a place exactly like that. Today's video, we're going to cover one of my favorite subgenres of vaporwave. One that's my personal favorite, and one that will captivate your mind and body as we journey through the ocean to find out what it means to be sea punk. So you're wondering to yourself, what is C-Punk and where did it come from? Well, I'm here to tell you everything about this genre. C-Punk is a subculture of aesthetics and vaporwave that originated back on Tumblr in 2011, a year after vaporwave was created. The whole genre revolves around this aquatic theme that also includes urban pop culture of the 1990s and early 2000s. Aquatic art and 3D renders of plants and statues and textures, iconology and fashion. 
This genre varies depending on what you're searching for and what you want. A good example of sea punk that's really popular in the mainstream is the Lisa Frank collection. The art shows very aquatic themes filled with bright colors and aesthetics that induce a sense of nostalgia for the sea. And to be honest, Lisa Frank's art only barely scrapes the surface of what it means to be sea punk. With the rise of sea punk, we then start to see it develop into its own form of music, which takes attributes from southern hip hop, pop music, and R&B music from the 90s and early 2000s. Over the years, sea punk had limited popularity, but it's also pioneered a whole new culture of people that were feeding for this kind of music, myself included. There's also speculation that sea punk was created in the Chicago club scene, just like its predecessors, vaporwave. Sea punk is an electronic style of music similar to EDM, house, etc., but not quite. It sits more on the vaporwave spectrum of music and conveys feelings and emotions, and sometimes it induces no emotion at all. Like Vaporwave, Sea Punk started off as a meme on Tumblr and on the internet during the beginning of Vaporwave and aesthetics back in 2010 through 2012. The term Sea Punk was created by a guy named DJ Lil Internet back in 2011, and it all started when he tweeted, Sea Punk leather jacket with barnacles where the studs used to be, back in December, and ever since then, the term stuck with the genre. You are in the mix with the ultra demo. I got the internet going nuts. Cluster Mag reported back then that sea punk was an internet phenomenon and that sea punk was a way to describe people who lived this aesthetically aquatic themed lifestyle with everything relating to the sea. As of today though, I think sea punk has evolved into something else entirely because now I see that there are more plans incorporated into sea punk and also a small hint of that moss off aesthetic is also incorporated in there as well. It doesn't mean that sea punk isn't dead, it's still very much alive, it just incorporates more as it continues to grow with time. Sea punk music is really interesting because it mixes a bit of 90s house music mixed in with chopped up and screwed hip hop tracks with a hint of R&B, pop, and southern rap. Sea punk also has elements of witch house and chip tune along with drum and bass. Most popular songs of sea punk include chopped up songs of Beyonce and Aaliyah. Those are very few things that you'll find common in sea punk. Me personally, I really love trappy aesthetics. Sea punk tracks that include distorted and screwed up vocals similar to Vaporwave and artists that aren't as popular as the ones I mentioned above. As of January 2012, sea punk was explored by Dazed and Confused magazine during the crave in that era. Surprisingly, artists like Azealia Banks, Grimes, Slava, and Unicorn Kid are considered notable sea punk artists. Now we go to the fashion everyday wear, sea punk. You'll tend to see clothes with colors that represent the ocean a lot. For example, you'll see a lot of turquoise, bright greens, blues, aquamarines, and scions. But those colors aren't limited. You'll also see bright oranges and yellows and pastel colors as well. That's why I believe Lisa Frank is at the forefront of this aesthetic in terms of mainstream media and popularity. It's a mix of bright colors mixed in with aquatic elements and soothing yet dystopian to an extent. Because when you see the fashion or art, you're whisked away to a world where only the ocean exists and we are thrown into it which is awesome and also a trip. 
Besides colors, you'll see a lot of plastic wear like glasses and shell like jewelry on top of shirts that hint to surfer subculture. You'll also tend to see very punk like jackets, for example. You'll see a lot of see through jackets and baseball caps. Also, the type of images you'll see in these type of clothes are smiley faces, yin yang symbols, and other images that reference the 90s most of the time. Styles of makeup, you'll see dyed hair a lot and brighter aquatic makeup to match your fresh fit. It's a staple, but not something you have to do. Sea punk style was also appropriated by a lot of mainstream artists like Nicki Minaj, Rihanna, Azalea Banks, Lady Gaga, Soldier Boy, etc., and it makes sense since sea punk is derived from hip hop and pop. Besides music, each subgenre of vaporwave has their own culture and art associated with it. For sea punk, you'll see a lot of ocean based art mixed with rotating geometric shapes and 1990s 3D net art. You'll also see a lot of neon lights and a lot of water and plants as well. Because of the popularity of sea punk art, it ended up creating two subgenres called slime punk and ice punk, which is awesome. Current sea punk that I've been finding uh, includes a lot of mall based locations with hanging plants and fountains of water and fountains. C -punk also has an array of different types of people and art which makes the genre unique. The people are awesome and the art are phenomenal. I personally really like the art versus the music but it's okay. I love the genre and I love the ocean so much and I hope y'all really enjoyed the explanation of sea punk. And that's pretty much sea punk. If you like this video make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot and if you have any ideas on what kind of content I should do next let me know down in the comments and also let me know what you think of this video. This is Keon signing out.